tension in the Korean Peninsula too. It has escalated. North Korea has blown up its liaison office with South Korea. This is North Korea's public display of disregard for peace pacts. But why take such a drastic measure? Because like most dictators, Kim Jong-un could not take a public insult. And this action against South Korea has also led to the emergence of a new leader, Kim's sister, Kim Yo-jong. The Inter-Korean Liaison Office, a beaming blue glass structure, a symbol of the fragile peace pact, demolished. This is North Korea's proclamation. Its relationship with South Korea is as easy to shatter as glass. The liaison office served as an embassy for its bitter rival. Since the Wuhan virus outbreak, the office had remained closed. Now, there is no way South Korean diplomats will return. The official residential building has also crashed to the ground. Over the past few weeks, the situation in the Korean peninsula was tense. Pyongyang had already shut communication channels with South Korea. What caused this? Balloons. Balloons carrying propaganda leaflets. North Korean defectors in South Korea sent up balloons carrying flyers. They criticized Kim Jong-un's nuclear ambitions and highlighted the human rights abuses under his dictatorship. North Korea responded to the balloons with a blast. The casualty is the liaison office. Kim not want his people to read the flyers. It puts him in bad light. Not want his people to read the flyers. It puts him in bad light. The first rule in every dictator's rule book is to stifle dissent or silence people who could spark dissent. The problem is the defectors are on South Korean soil. After the blast, the state TV warned the defectors. The office was tragically ruined with a terrific explosion to force human scum to pay dearly for their crimes. Balloon propaganda is not new. It goes back to the Korean War in the 1950s. North Korean defectors regularly send food, money and USB sticks with South Korean dramas. All these years, this was a route to create unrest in North Korea to show North Koreans how life can be better without Kim. Now, Kim has threatened war. He wants to turn the border with South Korea into a fortress. He plans to re-enter zones that had been demilitarized under the 2018 pact. South Korea does not want that to happen. Seoul has now called on defectors to stop the cross-border propaganda it has even threatened legal action against two groups. North Korea's arm-twisting tactic is working. Demolish a building, threaten a war, and South Korea will back down. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One.